Hello! If I see her, it'll do too. In the last part, we did some overworld exploration because uh, the final boss is pretty hard. And uh, in this part, I'm gonna ignore the fact that I'm missing two heart pieces, or boxes of crayons rather, and uh, take the wrong warp. And then take the right warp. And then go challenge the boss. Because um, I think with practice I'll get it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I still like the idea of the yellow teleporter being on the pathway to and from the boss. Um, yeah, I'm kind of hoping that after you beat the final bonus boss, just like they mark everything on the map or something. I have no reason to expect it, but it would be convenient. Uh, how do I want to enter? I think they're. No, you can't take the right end of this room. Err, this button. Yeah, also, I suppose even if everything did get marked on the map after you beat the final bonus boss, that one tree in the pink area is just still mysterious. I have no more ideas. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, there is a door over there. Okay. Oof! Perfect timing to get shot by that cannonball. For some reason, this room is way easier to do forwards than backwards. Alright. Hello, clone trooper. Alright, yeah. They deal three quarter hearts of damage due to our protective amulet. So to finish that thought about the three quarter hearts, I believe um, when I was at nine health, or nine hearts rather, I could take exactly 12 hits. Uh, getting one more box of crayons let, let me take another hit. Well, 12 would kill me. Now I survived 12, basically. plan isn't working at all. But yeah, going in Berserk isn't going to do anything for me. Ah. But still, I might want to look for opportunities to get do a lot of damage. Uh, but uh, anyway, if I were to collect the last two boxes of crayons, I would get one more hit. I was skill sealed. I do have more invincibility frames on my roll now as well than I used to. So the deluxe bomb phase seems to be when you can get your damage. And you just kind of survive and poke during the other phases. Okay, yeah, ice ring phase is probably more dangerous than force wand phase. But I think we got him to half, and that was just the second try this episode. Oh wait, I want to be backed off right now. I took two hits already. Wait, not all their attacks deal the same damage, do they? So the math on three-quarter hearts isn't valid. Yeah, 
mistimed their own. Hard to get outside their range. Ah, oh, the miss time. Back in. Oops. Okay, that the circle or something uh, retracts a lot faster when it's the big one. Being diagonal from them is actually pretty nice. Because it increases the distance so their slams don't come as early. I think I'm just not gonna go for damage during Fire Sword phase. Oops. Currently losing. Ah, getting caught. That sword has a lot of range. It would need a lot of well-timed rolls once they're close. Fortunately, not as well-timed as. Before I had this protective amulet at level 3, but still better than I'm doing. So is the last one always aimed ahead of you? Seems like I always end up needing to roll, because I'm in the wrong place. Whoa. I think that is how it works. What? You changed! Um... I need more health by the time I get there. <laughs> Alright, but that's heartening that we got them to like 20% within the first 10 minutes of the episode. And I even had to walk here first. Okay, but we're, we're just not messing with fire sword phase.
that counts down faster. If you just look in, at the radius of the thing, that is. Whoa! Okay. Nope, oh, get away. For doing those backflips. Whoa! What am I doing rolling in? Okay, now you're gonna do the slam and then shift phase. Whoa! That feel when you're stuck force wanding. Oops. And my timing got super off after that first hit. Thanks for having literally the nicest behavior. Oh, except then I get hit. And I'll slowed, and that seems to inflict skill seal no matter where you are in the room. What is that? Whoa! Uh, I don't think my Force Wand can reflect that. Pretty sure it passed through one of the bullets. Alright. I'm surprised at how short these attempts are. It feels like I'm playing really patiently. Fire Sword, definitely the hardest of the four main phases. Oh, right. Uh, I forgot. I thought Bomb was coming up for some reason. I'm reacting all wrong. Like, we just take that patiently, too. I think if I get hit during any of the little bombs, I need to just back off and accept not dealing damage. Oh, wait, you did three in a row. There's no backflip. Ow. a wide threat area around you while you're doing fire sword things. Also, I think it's random which ones are aimed ahead of you. Fire sword phase. <laughs> oh yeah, don't. <laughs> Can I just restart the fight? <laughs> Let's not accept that. Okay. I'm gonna put one dynamite in then. Nah, it explodes early. I guess I could try to time it better. Oops. 
Alright, perfect bomb phase. Aiming is hard. You're gonna jump now. Didn't want to use the Force Wand so I wouldn't get stuck using it while they were launching laser beams. Alright, pretty good. Reflected that full. I wonder if I can just go berserk on him now. I have a lot of health this time. Uh, not while I'm skill sealed. Okay, I was worried I was going to throw away the run because I went too aggro. But we got him. And I auto-moved to the center for this cutscene. Oh, cannot outsmart you, cannot overpower you. You are the new queen of adventure. Always was, Robo-Wimp. Oh, poof. For goodness sake, poof. What's the meaning of this? You were supposed to be in pieces. Passel, do not worry. I will cause no more adventure. When I completed this crafted quest time and again, it was because I enjoyed the experience. When I struggled to find the fastest order of completion, I did it out of admiration for the island's creator. And in the end, my own dungeons were built out of love, not spite. Do you see? And Passel sees. I admit that I admire my brother's handiwork, carving entire dungeons out of toothpicks and all. Perhaps it's not for me to say how his adventure should be run. In fact, perhaps it's more fun ignoring the rules sometimes. Okay, so about this robot wanting to depopulate the island? Oh, give her a break. You just don't understand the finer points of adventuring. Have you forgotten why we came here, by the way? Let's see, did we even have a reason? I believe I know what you're looking for. It's in this chest. May it serve you well. Perhaps in some day creating an adventure of your own? Question mark? You wish. It'll let's snag the loot and leave these weirdos to their bonding. I need some fresh air. I like loot. Got a big old pile of loot. There's enough in here to buy a country. Sweet. Good grief, what a teasy dungeon. Let's forget that ever happened. What? It was fun. At least I think it was. It was extremely healthy the whole way through. How many health potions have you had exactly? Who cares? We've got that big old pile of loot. So let's get out of here and use it to buy more potions. Er, it will Potions! <laughs> this is a sobering and terrifying experience. Alright. Well, I mean... I guess I could see if the ending's changed, if I take the raft. Um, still absolutely mystified by the secret that is apparently at this tree. But yeah, let's take the raft, and then... I might take one more episode where I just, like, look up a map, and... I still don't know what I'm going to do about that tree, because I've already tried searching for the solution to that. Oh, wait, what? Hey, not even have I ever won a fight with the queen. Nice going, I guess. Oh, and I don't know of any job openings for robot pilots. This island? Plenty of secrets here. Okay, yeah, I solved the mystery of the secret shards, so now you can stop hiding from Passel. No problem. But yeah, taking the raft, seeing if the island still blows up. Now that... Okay. You sure skill or something? 
Yeah, we want Glow the Earth, Face Castle, and Queen of Adventure. But yeah, one one theory was that um, it was the Queen of Adventure blowing up the island to depopulate it. Okay, we got the raft, and there's the big old pile of loot there to the side. Oh, kaboom. It still blows up. But we've got loot. What an ending change. <laughs> In the end, it wasn't about our friends, it was about the loot we got along the way. Or something like that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this part. The credits are, in fact, skippable. Uh, oh, yeah, I found a gallery. Very intro storyboards. Wow, all this gallery I don't really feel like taking at a slow pace. Oh, no, more Jennies! Fun cars, random stuff, world concept arts. Whoa. All these quotes in various languages. Anyway, I seem to loop through, and that's my best time still. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this part. See ya!